guys. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. This is the first game of the I day. I want to be heard. It's, it, it, it's all bound to happen. I'm gonna message someone. Need help in Studio 4. These heroes, if they can't get their spells off, they do struggle a lot. Yeah, Terrorblade's no exception to that. Ohio looking for it. And we will catch him. There's no mana for Sundry. He's got two stick charges up here, but it looks like Raven is in way over his head, and mid one's cold snap will secure that kill, and now look at the two supports that came in to try and save him, but the tornado catches the drop there, and Demon, even with a stag sword, got the damage out, with the Drow Ranger, that aura adds so much to not just the Invoker, but the Batrider as well, great glimpse though, Demon is capitalized by AU, the Prince back Ohio, managed to come a little bit further away, and the Thunder Strike gives the vision, but will it give them that chasing capability, QQ does get the Omni-Slash down, but in the meantime, mid one continues, battering through the support, Demon's healed up here by the Oracle, and mid one's not giving up this yet, one more, there we go. Takes him down with the dust. Demon, great play. Gets the dust under the invoker. This might be a turnaround kill for them as well. QQ with the face of Void and the Juggernaut. Finally, ring. Nice play coming in from TNC. They're even going to get the favorable. Well, maybe not favorable in terms of powers, because Smith Tower is uh, super important. So safe playing Demon. <laughs> what was he doing? You know, he, he's actually there because he wants his team to kill the tier one tower. So he's uh, barricade in front. Mushi, though, doesn't have a barricade, and Samix still holding onto this chrono. QQ's double damage rune, Ohio, wait, hang on a second, blinks forward aggressively, and he's in the middle of four of them. Little meow. That's an adorable little thing, but he doesn't have the golden one. He's not the chosen one. I don't think I've ever even seen a golden one. I, I don't think I've seen one in real life. Well, in real life, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so. yeah no, he's trying to cap on the back end. Finger of death onto AU as well, but the line is ripped to shreds. with healing coming through from TNT, and the fourth promise of the demon keeping up, and there's the damage output, Juggernaut! Swipes through two, unfortunately he doesn't get onto the Drow Ranger though, but they've got the bash. Sam H makes damn sure the Drow is escaping, and once more, Fnatic are the aggressors. A great story for TNC, you know, failing in the first qualifier for Southeast Asia against RRQ from Indonesia. Second qualifier, they do get themselves through, and the, the open qualifier this, but in the Bat Rider is ripped apart. The Terra Blade, Q hits in there, and the single death of Juggernaut drop finally, and the EMP is good, but it's still the Terra Blade up in the front line to Sam H holds the line. Chrono still available, and mid one held inside it as well. Is there a relocate save? There's a heal through, but it's not enough. He's actually chronoed and didn't get the relocate out. This is TNC actually looking to take down Fnatic in this first best of one. Mushi, you can't run, you can't hide. The Terra Blade is pushing down the final last time through pure fight. Links under the fortunes then. Keep the TP alive as he swaps the elf back onto mid one and these chase with not long for this world. They're just chasing him into tier four, chasing him into base because Fnatic, they don't really have anything left. But now the Batrider is jumping around the sword back. He's quite hard and go get the AU Oracle down at last. The demon will get shoved back to his grave as well. But they've lost so much structurally here in their base that Fnatic, this is all really consolatory for them. Raven finally dies, but it is the age of the immortal. Is he going to die a second time though? Yeah, he'll die. He doesn't have BKB. Yeah, no BKB and no Sunder. Important for Fnatic to continually apply that pressure. Maybe he just didn't hit it fast enough. The early game engagements, TNC, were getting enough. Like, they don't have to even win, they just have to trade evenly. Yeah, we'll catch Demon. Not the Oracle, though, as the Juggernaut just slashes down the Batrider as Mushi. He's in the middle of three here, though, but 3 4 3. Good blink is done back into him as QQ. No ult remaining, but Mushi jumps on the void, flies back. DP out will succeed as 3 4 3 is solo chrono here. Sandwich maybe could have gone for the Drow Ranger there. Bringing a lot of damage to this tier 3. Uh, illusions galore for the Terra Blade. Pushes them out of the Firefly so he can actually keep them alive. And now he's zonally harassing them back as this relocate. Where are they, uh, where are they going? DJ, DJ Just a Midland? casual jungle trip. Um, uh, I, I honestly have no idea. Maybe he thought he was going to get speared. I don't know. Because they were like walking forward. Maybe they thought that. It's a good initiation though, but Raven, he's saved by the Oracle Box's BKB and just right click people into oblivion. The buyback from 3 4 3 line will allow him to get into the fight again, but there's Mushi caught in the corner with DJ as well. And Raven from outside the blue bubble helps out by the Juggernaut zombie slash. And Fnatic might tap out soon. Mid one trying to hold his ground as well. Two seconds till invoke up cooldown. But he's got nothing really left to give. He doesn't have any damage. There's no Sunstrike, no Meteor, no nothing. As the Rats fall again on a third lane here from. Fnatic and TNC, this uh, Terra Blade, well he's got Sundra up again, as well as the heals coming through from AU. Takes the life away from mid one who's actually swiped down, it doesn't have a buyback, but now it's a Wolfram Invoker and this is game over. The first best of one goes the way of TNC, and quite a shocker.
very impressive play overall from TNC. They knew exactly what their lineup was meant to do. They didn't get like overzealous and try to go in and you know say, all right, we're we're leading. Let's go for that second set of racks. Let's go for the tier three top after we kill mid. They made all the right decisions. They knew exactly when they were in control.